Welcome back everyone. Uh, today um, is our second video of our Windows 11 Defender series and it is going up against Wise Vector Stop X. So we have Wise Vector Stop X on the left. We'll have a look at the settings. For this test obviously it's going to be high settings. So we have um, enabled everything here. We set machine learning to high. We didn't make it aggressive as I think we might have too many false positives. I think already with high we might have some but we're just leaving it on, on high for now. Under advanced now we, we put hips to maximum security. Um, advanced malware protection. Um, no exclusion. Um, with the last test it didn't actually interfere with our script so we left it as is. Um, these are the folders. Okay, so that has been set up. Document protection has been set up. And the other options have been enabled as well. So for Windows Defender, we once again use the tool for high. So it's the same settings as the last time. Just quickly going through it and then Windows Defender itself okay as you guys can see everything is enabled controlled folder access reputation based exploit protection okay we left everything on default and then core isolation is enabled as well um, we're gonna quickly disable the protection so that we can extract the malware once the malware is extracted we'll um, start the test okay guys and all the malware has been extracted um i had absolutely no idea it's going to be this amount of malware <laughs> 2253 for both but oh why not let's do it for fun that's what we're here for is to see how well it's going to perform so let's do this might be a bit of a long test um, but let's do it so um, just gonna enable the shields again okay um, I think before we enable everything let's just make sure that everything is fully up to date because they might start to remove malware okay and both products are fully up to date let's start enabling the protection I'm just doing it slowly to make sure it does enable, no problems. And I think we are good to go. So that's Defender. Just show you guys that I haven't changed anything. Okay. And I think we're good to go. So for Wise Vector, just quickly, boom, those are the settings. And I think we're ready to test. Let's close that. Okay, I think this test is going to take some time guys. It's actually more malware than I anticipated for. Um, okay, so let's see what gives our first pop-up. Okay, so Defender gave us our first pop-up. Um, I haven't seen anything for Wise Victor yet. But yeah, I'm going to let these two run. Um, hopefully the test doesn't take too long and then I'll come back to you guys now.
Okay guys, the test is finally completed. Um, the VM4 wise vector seems to be not responding. Um, I did notice that uh, pop-ups didn't show for quite some time and then I saw it was closed. I tried to open it and didn't want to open and shortly after that the VM started to not respond. So for Windows Defender, um, just going to close all of these ones. Okay, as you guys can see there's something running there in memory and uh, that one as well. Okay, let's see what this does. Okay, let's close that, close that. Okay, let's submit all these files. Okay, so we still have one, two, three, four, five malware that seems to be running. One, two, three, four, five, six, sorry. So six of them running. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let it attend to this malware. I'm just going to start the action. I'm going to reset this one. Um, I'm not going to continue the test on this VM. Once it's up and running, um, hopefully wise vector works and then I can just start the full scan. Um, but I'm just going to wait for this. When it's done, then I'm going to reboot Defender and then start the full scan. Welcome everyone and we are back. So both scans are completed. I do see it's still checking for or removing the last bit of malware and it obviously wants to restart um, to uh, remove this malware so I'm just going to resolve the issues on the wise vector and then once this is done I'll do the restart so the defender can remove this malware and then we'll jump into the third party opinion scans. Okay, and all the tests are finally completed. So it took quite some time for these two machines to do their scans. So for uh, Wise Vector on the left, uh, we seems like we have one malware here that is um, in the ramming folder. We have another one in local temps. That's normally where they tend to go. So if it's something it's a temp, it's not that bad. It's just more in other locations like roaming and startup items. So these are malware that's on the desktop and then we have another one at temp and then we seems to seems to have a malware in but that might be in the quarantine folder. So I'm not sure if that's maybe in the quarantine that it's picking up but obviously it is a cobalt strike which is a nasty malware. Um, yeah, QA, so quarantine, so it might be picking up that malware in the quarantine. So that might be a false positive, or quote unquote false positive. But yeah, I'm not looking too bad. Um, oh, and then there's one here directly under my user account. So we've got a couple of them um, outside of the normal temp folders, but not too bad. So let's close that. Let's look at Norton. Quite a bit of for Norton here. All of them are high. Yeah, all of them are pretty high. So we've got on the local, there's an exe there. Temp files, then on the roaming again. So according to Norton, quite a bit of malware outside the normal temp folder. So quite a bit there. Uh, let's look at MSISoft. Okay, so under my user account, a couple of Java files. So there's a couple of bugs. App data, local. So 
so under roaming as well so quite a bit of malware that's outside of the temp folder this malware is on the desktop and then we've got obviously that same one that Norton picked up and um, Heatman Pro then we've got a couple of tasks here Firefox something that maybe wants to load with a browser and another Java startup which I saw the error message for that okay so not too bad let's see what Malwarebytes has to say so program files I think that might be the same quarantine files uh, so a couple of them for wise vector but that might be the malware that it quarantined okay so then app data from here so app data local so that's a couple of malware it's not supposed to be there app data still and then obviously malware on the desktop and then according to Malwarebytes a couple of registry key entries uh, that's a task, schedule task also so a couple of schedule tasks, things to run so a couple of registry keys ok so according to Malwarebytes it, uh, it looks the worst according to Malwarebytes results ok let's quickly look at Windows Defender Okay, so local temp, then temp again, then temp, and then it's malware on the desktop. And it seems like WiseVector removed more malware from the fold folders. Let's quickly check. Uh, so it seems like and obviously this is one folder but if you take the item count there is less for wise vector than for defender okay so still malware only on the desktop and then we've got this one flash player so according to Heatman Pro, I can only find one malware that is outside your normal temp folders, which are these ones, but still there are malware traces in the temp files. But I would say good result from um, Defender. Norton, also only one problem, VB script um, under my user profile. And might be linked to those two registry keys which are auto runs seems like they are auto runs to run okay so that's about it still looking good um didn't do the other scans as also the last time with the windows defender the other scans were removed i did however copy northern power razor or manually but no results from msisoft as those files were deleted again okay so let's have a look see under app data okay so that's under the temp again temp folder uh, we've got a cup uh, register uh, so shortcuts again okay a bunch of them uh, malware on the desktop okay and no registry keys okay cool so I think that's really really well let's close that Okay, let's see what's running and start up and then we'll look at Process Explorer as well. Okay, can't seem to be able to open a Process Explorer, might be Wise Vector that's blocking it.
Okay, so let's quickly have a look at the startup item. So we've got one that's dodgy, and then we obviously have that same Java which we saw is a startup item. So we've got one there for Defender. Um, seems like we've got one, two startup items that are not supposed to be here. Okay, so it's a power, it looks like it's a PowerShell script or there's a PowerShell icon. Um, yeah, that file type is definitely strange, but it has a PowerShell icon. And this is obviously an executable um, Java file. Okay, so it's definitely not supposed to be there. Now let's look at Process Explorer for Windows Defender. And let's see what that is about. It says Endpoint Protection DLP. Okay, so at least nothing actively running. Uh, so Dr. Web says it is a loader a trojan and grindsoft also says it's the same so it could be a false positive or not we'll need to check okay so i'm unable to open up process explorer to see what's running let's look at our files okay no visible damage or ransomware infection download seems good and our documents seem safe. Okay, so I think that's that, guys. I think it, that's the end of this case. So, um, cons for white we put out say, according to malware bytes, couple of registry keys. Here and there, there was malware choices um, outside the normal paint folder. Um, one startup item, and that's about it. But considering it's a free AV, I think it still did really, really well. Uh, for Windows Defender. So for Windows Defender, um, I can't really say any any cons. It did actually did really well. I can still see that it's still complaining about malware, but obviously there's still malware in that folder. Um, no, um, according to Startup Manager, there's two um, startup items, um, but according to Malware Bytes, luckily no registry keys, and it also had the least amount of malware. Um, on it, um, why is Victor had more malware outside the normal temp folder? There was only one malware outside of the temp folder for Defender, so I would say that better than Wise Vector, but still very, very close. Um, but between these two, I think I'd rather stick with Defender. Um, obviously, it's a good idea to keep on testing these products, and might be good today and bad tomorrow, or vice versa, but still really good results. You guys can draw your own conclusion and let me know what you guys thought about the test and if it was informative and if any of you, you of you are using wise vector what settings are you using because obviously this test vm was pretty much on its highest settings which might not always be practical if you use it for day to day but nonetheless they both did really well so until next time guys i'll see you in the next one